And this is Seneco 2021 General Mathematics Paper 2. And we are answering question number 7B. And the question reads, uh, a boat sails 6 kilometers or a bearing 0, 040 degrees. And then 8 kilometers on another bearing 100 degrees. The two questions asked here, Roman 1 says, how far is the boat from its starting point? And Roman 2 asked uh, is to calculate the bearing of the boat from its starting point. You are asked or uh, you are now required to leave your answer to the nearest kilometer, that is Roman 1 question, and the nearest degree, that is in Roman 2 questions. So let's attempt to answer this very question together. Going back to the question, is a bearing question. There is a boat that sails from a particular point and takes this direction 40 degrees and it travels or sails a distance of 6 kilometers. So let me just mark my four cardinal points. Assuming this is the starting point, this is the cardinal point. So I will now take the bearing 0, 40 degrees, that is 40 degrees. So 40 degrees from the north line measured in clockwise direction would now be this angle. Then the line will now be the direction it takes for six kilometers. This is the bearing now. From there, it takes another bearing, and that bearing is 100 degrees, and it sells for another eight kilometers. So I'll draw another cardinal point there, so that I'll take the angle 100 degrees, starting from the north line in clockwise direction. This is the angle. So this is the direction it takes. And it sells for another eight kilometers. So this is its final destination. So what I'm going to do next is to complete this triangle. That is to join the, the final destination with its initial point. So I've joined this very line to have a complete triangle. So if I should answer Roman 1, that is the distance from its final destination. From its starting point is this line that I'm asked to find the distance. So using cosine rule, is that the angle here in between the two sides, 6 and 8, if that angle I call it theta, so theta will not be equal to, you see this angle is 40 degrees, this angle, look at it, this angle will also be 40 degrees because the two angles are alternate to each other. So this is 40. Similarly, the other angle, if from this not line to this is 100 degrees, what remains to make it an angle on a straight line that is 180 will now be 80 degrees. So adding 80 under this very 40, give the angle theta. So theta will now be 40 plus 80, and that gives answer 120 degrees. So this angle in between the side 6 and the side 8 is now 120 degrees. So I have enough to apply my cosine rule. I have the two sides and the included angle. So I can find the side opposite to the included angle, which is theta. So that the distance will now be equal to applying the cosine rule will now be square root of uh, 6 square plus 8 square minus 2 times 6 times 8 multiplied by the cosine of the angle between the two sides, 6 and 8, which is 120. So finding what is cos 120 and finding the square of those numbers. 6 square will be 36, 8 square will be 64. 2 times 6 times 8 gives answer 96. And the course 120 gives answer minus 0 0.5. So multiplying and adding correctly gives answer 148. So distance will now be square root of 148. So taking the square root correctly gives answer 12 kilometer rounded to the nearest kilometer. This will now be the distance both from its starting point. So that answered Roman 1 question. We move to Roman 2. Roman 2 asks to find the bearing of the vote from its starting point. So move to the starting point. I will take the angle. So if we can find this angle inside this very triangle. Added to this angle 40 degrees to give us the bearing of the wood from its starting point. So if I call this angle beta inside this triangle, so if this is beta, I have the side opposite to beta, which is 8. I have the angle theta already as 120, and I have calculated the side opposite to it, which is 12 kilometer. So applying the sine rule, I can now have 8. Divided by the sine of the angle opposite to the side 8, which is beta, sine beta, will now be equal to 
12.17 is the value of the square root of 148 before rounding to the nearest kilometer. So it's what, that is what I'm going to use. So 12.17 divided by the sign of the angle opposite to the side 12.17, which is angle 120, so sine of 120. So I'll continue. I'll now make sine beta subject of the formula, so I'll cross multiply and divide both sides by the coefficient of sine beta. So I'm going to have sine beta equals to 8 multiplied by sine 120 divided by 12.17. So sine of 120 from the calculator, you multiply it by 8. If you do that correctly and divide the result by 12.17, what you are going to have is 0 0.5693. So this is now sine beta. So to find the beta, what you now do is to take the sine inverse of this 0 0.5693. So sine inverse of this value will now give answer if done correctly, 34.7 degrees. So addition of this angle with the angle 40 degrees, it will give us the bearing of the boat from its starting point. So the bearing will now be equals to 40 degrees plus 34.7 degrees. And this addition, if done correctly, you now have 74.7 degrees. And this 74.7 degrees rounded to the nearest degree as required in the question will now give answer 0, 07. Five degrees. This will now be the BR point. And this answer to this very question, let me just share with you quickly the mark distribution for this very question as it is there in the marking scheme. So the very first mark is bonus one mark, and this bonus one mark is for getting the angle between the two sides, six and eight, as 120 degrees. That enable you to get this bonus one mark. Next mark is method one. Mark is for applying the cosine rule in attempt to find the distance from its starting point. Substituting 6, 8, and the angle 120 degrees correctly in the cosine rule formula, you now have this method one mark. And simplify further up to where you take the square root of both sides, the square root of 148. You now have this method one mark, and when you now have the distance exactly as 12 kilometer rounded to the nearest kilometer, you have this accuracy one mark. Next mark is attempting to get the angle beta that enable you to find the bearing. That gives you method one mark if you now substitute correctly in the sign rule. You have this method one mark. Simplifying further to get the beta where you have sine beta equals 0 0.5693. You have another method one mark, and when you take the sine inverse of 0 0.5693 correctly, you have 34.7. You have this accuracy one mark. Next mark is method one mark attempting to find the bearing by adding 34.7 together with 40. That gives you method one mark, and when you now have the bearing exactly as 0. 75 degrees you have another accuracy one mark so if everything is done correct you have nine good marks